Welcome, Gussie and MJ from the Grill Team and Rugby League Week here with some of your reader questions for the big fella. Isaac Maniot? Maynot? 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 He says, MG, can Josh Dugan bring the change to the Dragons? They're struggling so much in attack. Yeah, they are struggling. Um, you know, I think, uh, obviously, I don't think Nathan Feen is a, a half. I think he's more of a hooker. So that's probably one instance where they are lacking a bit of penetration around the halves. But, yeah, I think he can have a big effect on the Dragons. He's a very unpredictable player, which causes doubt in the, the opposing teams. And, um, look, if he, if he gets his head, his head right, there's no doubt in the world Josh Dugan... He's an elite player. Uh, David Atkinson, how do you rate the Burgess brothers? Of course, there's Ooh. four of them, but mm. two, two of them are in particular at the moment on fire. Yeah, well, last year Luke uh, was probably the pick of the three of them. Uh, Luke had, a, I think, a shoulder injury this year. Um, look, George has come along to be the, probably the, the, Gorgeous new, George. the new face of the, the game this year. He's just so big and, and robust. Uh, Sam plays 80 minutes, he's, he's a massive bloke, um, I rate him highly. I think um, the more, well, so we're seeing now a, an influx of English players coming out to play in Australia because of the Burgess brothers. Mm. They're thinking if they can make it, let's have a go and see if we can make it. Mm. Um, so look, they've had a profound effect on the NRL and maybe the Super League in England as well. Ryan Nash says, MG, do you think we should look at removing scrums that are a waste of time because they're not even contested? Um, I, I like the scrums, to be honest, Ryan. Um, I think it's a perfect attacking opportunity for a backline movement or a blindside movement. Not enough coaches, I don't think, take enough uh, or put enough emphasis on on you know a scrum play. An opportunity off a scrum. Mm, yeah. I, well, Timmy Sheens is probably the, was the last innovator in that way. Uh, a lot of blindside moves with Benji and Lawrence, and but I, no, I like the scrum. I think it's a chance to. What I don't like is when. They take, have time off the scrums and you know, in the last 20 seconds of a game, or, or I'd rather just see the scrums, run to the scrum, pack the scrum, and then blow a penalty if no one does it in, in, you know, within 30 seconds. But I think they're an integral part of the game, even though they're not like they used to be, where you used to actually... You used to, to watch, those, watch those classic matches now. Against the feed. And, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's, we've, we've got to learn to live with that, unfortunately, because that's the way the game is. But um, like, Do you ever go into a scrum... When you were playing second row, I went, you know what, we can actually win this against the feed? Yeah, I think we all had a call across the land called Blitz. When you had a scrum, they had a scrum feed within their quarter, you'd all push as hard as you could and push them off the ball. Mm. And maybe once every six months, you'd get a scrum against the feed. Beautiful. But it was good. Um, now they just the, the, the referee miles would feed the scrum. <laughs> There's a rule for it. What's that famous one, wasn't it? The Roosters uh, Tigers back in 2010. When the Roosters sort of basically pushed over and got the ball. Remember that before yeah, yeah. the field goal? That's right. That's the last time I saw that yeah. type of thing happen. That's, yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Well, if you have any other questions for MG, please send them through to Rugby League Week and we'll be here next week to answer them on your behalf. Gussie MG, over and out. Bye-bye.